Hello guys, welcome back to Unity Gurus. My name is Mahin and this is lesson 9. So now the time has come that we start making money from our game. So how can we make money from our game? Basically there are three major ways by which you can make money. First by setting your app as a paid app. Second by using in-app purchase and third by implementing ads. Most of the people like to use ads in their games to generate revenue from their game. Basically uh, we will implement Google ads and Google basically provide three types of ads, banner ad, full screen ad and rewarded video ads. In this video we will learn banner ads and full screen ads and in the next video we will learn how to implement rewarded video ads. So let's get started. First we need a Google AdMob account to integrate ads in your game. So go to Google AdMob and sign in. I have already made an account so this will take me directly to my home page. And this is my home page as you can see. All the information about the revenue I generate from my ads. First we go to app section and click on add app. Uh, have you published your app on Google Play Store? This is no. Type the name of your app. Select Android or iOS whichever is applicable. And this is our app ID which we will use later. You can click on this create ad unit to make your ad units but right now I will select I'll do this later. Next click on add ad unit and there are basically three type of ad banner, interstitial and rewarded. First select banner ad and type the name of ad and select create ad unit and this will make IDs for our banner ad as you can see this is our banner ID which we will also use in our game later. Next click on create another ad unit. This time I select interstitial ad. It's basically full screen ads. Type a name for this ad unit same like before and click on create ad unit. Next we need one more type of ad which is rewarded video ad. Click select and type a name same like before. In the reward setting section basically we want to set the number of amount which we will provide after the user will watch this video. In our game we will give user 3 extra balls after watching a complete rewarded video ads. Click create ad unit and click done. So now our all three IDs have created which we will use very soon in our game. Next again go to Google and type Google Ads in Unity and click on this first link. This will take you to this Google page and download the plugin from this page and click on this first link Google Mobile Ad dot Unity package. Download this plugin and import in Unity. This will take some time. After you successfully import the plugin, create a new C sharp script called Ad Manager. Make an empty game object name Ad Manager. Assign the script to the object and double click to open in Visual Studio. Delete the existing program and first we will import the Google AdMob API. Google Mobile Ads dot API. Okay. First of all, I would like to implement the singleton design pattern so that I can implement this script from any other script. So for that, public static ad manager and in the awake method, if instance is equal to null, instance is equal to this, else destroy this. Okay. So after implementing this singleton pattern, first of all, I would like to make an app ID which we will get from our AdMob account. Private string app ID. Next, I need a banner view variable to make our banner view. So for that, simply type private banner view. And we also need a banner ID. We need one more variable for our interstitial ad. So simply type private interstitial ad and I will call it full screen ad. We also need an ID for this. I call it full screen ad ID. Let's make some functions to implement these ads. The first function I would like to make is to request a banner. In order to show a banner or a full screen ad, first we need to request it and then we show it on the screen. So I will make a function for that. request banner. In this function we will simply assign a new banner view to our banner view variable. So banner view is equal to new banner view and this will take three parameters. 
first one is unit id which is our banner id next is add size so we will simply type add size dot banner this is predefined size uh, and for the position we will place it in the bottom of our screen so for that add position dot bottom okay next we need to make an empty request in which we can load our banner so for that i will type add request request is equal to new add request dot builder dot build this will make an empty request and in the next line we will load our banner using this request so for that simply type banner view dot load add and in this parameter we need a request so we will give it our request and finally we will show our banner right banner view dot show so that's how we can request a banner we also need one more function to hide our banner because I only want to show banner in the home screen. I don't want to show the banner during the gameplay because this will make your app looks like a cheap. So to hide the banner, I also need a function. So to make a hide function, public void hide banner. And in this one, simply call banner view dot hide. Okay, so that is for the banner. Next make function to request our full screen ad. So for that, public void request full screen add this is very similar to the banner view request first we will assign our full screen add a new interstitial add and in this one we only need one parameter which is our add id full screen add id next we also need an empty request so same new add request dot and then full screen add dot load add same like banner view the interstitial add are slightly different than banner add because first we need to load this in memory and then we show it on the screen so before showing the full screen add we need to make sure that it has properly loaded or not so to do that we will make an additional function to show the full screen add i will make a separate function called show full screen add and this one i will simply check if the add is loaded or not if the full screen ad is loaded then show the full screen ad else else debug.log full screen ad not loaded so these are the two function to request and show full screen ad next we need to call this function so we will request the full screen ad in the start of this script okay. private void is start and here you will request our full screen ad and for the banner ad go to ui manager and in the start method here we are checking if the game is restart or not so if our game is not restart which means we are showing the home screen then we show our ad so simply type add manager dot instance dot request banner and we will hide our ad after we call this start routine method so here i will type add manager dot instance dot hide banner okay so we have uh, requested our banner in the start and hide after the start method. Since we have uh, loaded our full screen ad in the start method, now we need to find a place where we can show our full screen ad. So the best place to show our full screen ad is right after game over. So this is our check game over function and just before showing this game over UI, I will call add manager or instance dot show full screen ad. Okay before testing this add script we need to fill our information which we have received from our admob account so the app id can be found in the app setting panel right here right next to the app id and the add id you can click on this add unit and these are your banner interstitial and rewarded video add id um, before you quickly go copy and paste and try this in your game i suggest you that you do not use the original ids because this is against admob's policies admob says that if you use your original admob ids during the development phase then it may end up suspending your admob account for the testing purpose admob has provided some default ids which you can safely use in your game and test it as many time as you want so let me quickly copy and paste the default admob id which admob has provided 
All right, so these are the basic IDs which Admo has provided. Let's test this in Unity editor. One thing I would like to tell you that your ad will not be appear in Unity game editor. It will create some dummy ads which you can see here that it is saying messages that it's created a interstitial ad and a banner ad. So next I go to my Android device and show you how this ad will actually look like on your Android device. Now our game is running on actual Android device. Our game has started and great now our banner head has appeared as you can see this is a 320 by 50 test ad from admob that's why i told you not to use your original ids you will get the same feeling from this dummy ads like an actual ad let me start the game okay and you see that our banner head has disappeared let's go to game over panel and see if our full screen ad is visible or not Great, as you can see our dummy full screen ad is also appear. You can clearly see this is a dummy ad, not an actual ad. So that's how you can integrate full screen ad and banner ad in your game. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video will be useful for you. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe and like. In the next video, I will show you how to implement rewarded video ads. So keep watching and thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video.